that's going to affect your, you know, the speed of your ability to flip, your elevator flips uh, and your aileron flips. As you dial that number back, you're not um, you're going to require a little greater area to get that elevator flip in or that aileron flip. So we go ahead and we set our uh, our collective pitch, and we bring it all. You know, we bring your stick all the way down, get your measurement at the bottom, all the way to the top, measurement at the top, and check the, the same blade on the other side, and then do your other blade. Okay, ho hopefully you didn't get confused there. So we're going to bring it back down to 50. Right there. Now we're going to do elevator. And uh, <laughs> I think I've been flying about a year before I really started tuning in my cyclic pitch, but uh, it's really important. Um, and again, you're shooting for 12 and a half and 12 and a half. Make sure you've got your blades perpendicular. And for this, all you're doing is it helps to have two people. You're moving your stick all the way forward, taking a measurement here, and then moving it all the way back, taking a measurement here. Make sure the measurements are the same, Pete. You need to have all the way, uh, you know, 12 this way, 12 this way, or 14 and 14, or 10 and 10. Then you're going to do the other blade. Um, then we're going to do, uh, let me see here, I'm going to turn her around. Uh, we're going to do aileron pitch. And uh, for this, we need to be straight on, okay? And uh, we need to be parallel to the boom. And you're going to lay your pitch gauge up, do, do pitch just the same way. And, of course, you're looking for perfect zero with your stick at 50. And um, uh, then you're going to go to your aileron and move it all the way to the right. And move it all the way to the left. And you want equal numbers there. Um, you know, 12 and 12, 10 and 10. Uh, then do the other blade, okay? So, all right, now we're going to... We'll come back over here to uh, my camera guy. Nice. So we have this done, and we're going to go to the next step here. Next step, it will be the elevator uh, travel, and actually setting the parameters of the elevator on the three axis. And you want to keep uh, the radio set at 50, uh, so when you're done setting your collective pitch, always get that thing back up to 50 and for this what we're going to do is we are going to push the, the set button again okay and now we're at elevator okay we're doing elevator uh, travel and all we're going to do we're at 50 we're going to push the stick all the way forward all the way up to program this and you'll see it blinking so it's registering great we're done that was easy right we're on to step three of five now at this point, we're going to tip the heli and make sure, look at that, you can see it compensating. It's compensating the right way. You want to keep that swash plate level to the horizon as you're tipping the helicopter. And uh, that shows us that we're doing the right thing. Now, if it doesn't tip the right way, this red light should be green. And to get that, you just move uh, your stick and it will change the color and then you just tip it again to make sure you're going the right way. So we're going to step four, the aileron, and here we go. We just move it all the way to the right and hold it. Registers, excellent, and push it to, uh, we're going to test our aileron, and here we go. Compensate in the right way. Okay, and that's it folks. Push it again. The patented click 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 you see that you know your unit has initialized and she's ready to fly um, in terms of your gyro if you look at this piece uh, is, if you look at the unit now just as a, uh, a gyro uh, it's labeled and it's pretty easy to understand if you remember the old uh, I think it's like the GP 750 and 780s on here it tells you the the servos, uh, DS, analog, normal, reverse, limit, and delay. And uh, with that, um, you just hold it. Once you have these lights, it'll blink green. We're at 1520, running the uh, stock line servos digital. Uh, I have my uh, gyro on, I think that's reverse when it blinks red. Uh, limits have been set, and right here all you do is just move your stick to the left and the right to register uh, the amount of travel you want. 
then you get to your uh, delay and I believe it's green for the 550, 600, and 700 and red for the 450. Push it again and we're right back to uh, she's ready to um, go out and fly. So that is the 3GX and if you have any questions, you know, post it and uh, I'll get to you. But uh, that's it. This is version 1.2. Leon Luke's uh, settings have been loaded onto this and uh, you should be good to go.